Welcome to Dice Junkies. I'm Zeno Damus. I'm here with you. And on Skype. TK74676 Blood Axe reporting. All right. Um, 501st. Yeah. 501st. Those of you that don't know, I've, I've been now been approved for the 501st, and my TK number is 74676. And you cut out. Yep, yep. He cut Thanks. out. Hey, you're back. Kind of. Sort of. Kind of, yep. All right. <laughs> We're having technical difficulties left and right here today, so um, <clears throat> let's let's try to get this started again. <laughs> oh, we were talking about uh, MCU's Phase Five, um, and this article is actually saying is uh, abandoning certain Marvel Studio projects. Um, but uh, but my main thing is, I mean, we were sort of looking over Phase Five because we hadn't really gone over Phase Five much on the show, uh, and uh, there's was, there's was a lot of questions about Secret Invasion. Um, yeah, me and Blood Axe were trying to make sense since apparently uh, Zeno didn't read Secret Invasion as a comic yeah. book series, and uh, Blood Axe came up with a theory that left me uh, let honestly, if they're not doing this, then they need to hire. Uh, our 501st here fella for their work because it's the only way it makes sense. Because my big issue is that we felt like there was no build up to the secret invasion. The scrolls haven't been properly seeded as a threat. They've been actively, you know how they've been building up all these large conflicts. Secret invasion is a big scale conflict, especially the secret war is when it all blows off. But secret wars is at the end of phase six and secret invasion is at the beginning of phase five. So what blood Axe was saying, uh, with blood Axe, tell them your idea. Well, I was uh, looking at the uh, the <clears throat> timeline in, uh, in in Phase Five. You have Secret Invasion, which is one of the very first properties, and then at the very end, the culmination is Secret Wars, um, because the only scrolls we've been introduced to was in um, Captain Marvel, uh, and they were supposed to be all these you know utopian nice people. Uh, no, they were poor, the poor whole- lost immigrants trying to find a safe yeah. place to stay. But uh, in Secret Wars, we, I mean, they're the, the, the bad guys that are re- uh, replacing certain people in, in uh, uh, high places and, and then, you know, in, in infiltrating uh, the Earth, so to speak. Spoiler alert, in case you haven't, haven't read it, go back and, and you can read the trades. But in Secret uh, Invasion, my theory was that it would act, hopefully, to make sense, be a peek behind the curtain of them planning the uh, their their uh, their Im- implementation of their strategies of replacing certain people, or at least the origins of starting to work their way up by replacing some uh, maybe lower tier uh, politicians or people in power, and then working their way up with more scrolls. Uh, and if you get the peek behind the curtain, and as it builds up through these other properties. Then I think that would make more sense to have, you know, the the uh, the buddy cop team up at the end uh, when you're going against the scrolls of Secret War. Mm. Um, the so, challenge. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I mean that's the only thing that really truly makes sense to me if you want to have that build up anticipation the way we did with Infinity War. Now, given that Captain America is called New World Order, that does support your theory because one of the things the scroll did is they were taking over the political landscape. But they also were replacing heroes. So this is interesting. The problem with this is that this is really deep if they're doing this. And I don't know if the casual viewers will be able to follow. Because the biggest thing about Secret Invasion. Oh, go ahead. Well, one thing on that is this isn't a movie. It's a, it's a miniseries. It's like a six-episode miniseries. Mm-hmm. So you probably are going to have about five hours worth of content. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so the biggest but to say, to say the biggest challenge, considering some of the franchises I see, though, is that where this could uh, throw off the normal viewer, where something like me and, like, maybe me and Blood Axe and even Zeno, because he's familiar with the concept, might be sitting there watching and trying to figure out, so who's a scroll? Who's a scroll? I don't know if the casual viewer would be okay with sitting there, because the problem is that means that every, because the way it did it in the comic book, it was so thorough a replacement Lots of characters were never themselves for a long run of the comic, which is a very wild idea. That's like, I haven't, this isn't Captain America I've been watching, reading for like a year. This has been someone else. Whether that's going to translate well into a series where you don't know if any of the stuff you see 
was like, for example, does what if Blade was never Blade? It was a scroll the whole time. Eh, like, I you figure, gotta worry I figure, about that. I mean, if you're gonna do a series right, uh, you, you you come up with a solution. <clears throat> you can't leave the 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 viewers forever. Not well, no, no, it's, it obviously gets resolved in Secret Wars, but I'm just yeah. saying, if you keep, you get it though. Imagine you watch the entire Daredevil born again, and you're like, man, I like the new Daredevil. Then you find out it was never Daredevil. Like me, us comic book fans that read Secret Invasion might be like, wow. Somebody watching the show might be like, what the, f-? you know, like especially because here's the thing, not everybody wants to watch all of this. That's the catch. That was brought up for uh, that was brought up for uh. Sorcerer Supreme, uh, mm-hmm. Doctor Strange. A lot of the biggest complaints I saw from reviews was people going, I did not watch WandaVision. And I don't know what the hell this is. And I heard that over and over and over. And these were people that didn't, weren't like, that were against Marvel. These were just people that just went to see Doctor Strange. And you got to think, WandaVision has no similarities to Doctor Strange. It is possible that's not the same fan base, man. It might be people. Oh, it's who definitely would not, not the same fan base, dude. WandaVision is a completely Lately, yeah. different so genre. Almost. If you're not, if you may, if you like Doctor Strange, but you didn't watch WandaVision, you don't know what Wanda's on about. You also got to think too, where the 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 latter part of the series of WandaVision wasn't bad. A lot of people did not bear through those first three episodes. Because it was a sitcom. Yeah, of I Love Lucy, you know. Um, Oh, yeah. So so literally, the same could happen here. If you don't watch Secret Invasion, but you like Daredevil, then you could end up really confused if it ends up tying in. I mean, you're also talking about TV series versus movies, you know. TV series to movie crossovers have notoriously not worked in the past. I mean, when you try to set up something in a TV series that, that, that bleeds into, to movies, a lot of people miss it because not everybody watches TV series. Um, for one secret invasion is going to be like five, six hours. A lot of people aren't going to sit down on their couch for five or six hours to watch series you know they like blade so they're just gonna go watch Watch blade Blade. you know they like um which i'm on on dr strange so you're just gonna go watch dr strange Strange. and when yeah when you start doing these crossovers i mean it's the same reason why a lot of people are intimidated by comics i mean a lot of people don't pick up comics because of crossovers and forced you know oh well if i want to know what the hell's going on with my doctor strange comic i got to buy five other comics now and i need to start at the beginning yeah. i'm not going to know what the heck they're talking about and so yeah, that's true. that that was a big problem with comics and why the you know it was part of the whole gatekeeping of comics was that that crossover you're all in crossover. or all out yeah all in or all out and that's what they're doing with the movies that are supposed to be the, the, you know, the bridge to break the gatekeeping. And, and, and that's what we're saying. That's what me and Zena are saying. For example, we might be willing to sit down and go, I wonder who's a scroll. There's a lot of people who are not willing to sit down and go, who's a scroll? You know what I mean? There's going to be a lot of people that just going to go, Blade, Daredevil. That's it. I don't see any other one of these shows I'd want to watch. But uh, <laughs> I'm just sorry. I'm like, I, 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 uh, Thunderbolt? But, but Blade and Daredevil. Where's Luke Cage? Racist. Where's Luke Cage? I'm, I'm watching Guardians, actually. Guardians uh, is Guardians always pretty good. Yeah, a I good watch series. Guardians. Uh, uh, what really gets me is they're bringing a the Fantastic Four in in Phase 5. You know what? I'm going to say something. No. If they're doing the origin of the Fantastic Four there, I will defend them. They have to. Because there is no way they can try to do like they did with that stupid... What was the movie that had like 15 main characters? Stupid Uh, one. The Eternals. The Eternals. There's no way you can explain why Reed Richards didn't help during the rest of this. Unless he just became Mr. Fantastic. So, I actually am sitting there going to say... That's the only way you could do it. You could have, you have, had, you could them have had them all this. just floating out in space for like uh, I'm saying, several you, years. You'd have to have them not pop up because they ignored the Eternals incident. They ignored the uh, uh, Infinity Stone incident. They ignored the in Secret Invasion, potentially, parts of that. So you'd be like, hey, where the hell were you? So I'm actually sitting here going, 
well, that'll be good if they pop up. Now, same thing for the yeah. X-Men. Where were the X-Men? Well, if they're just now fixing to introduce mutants or organize them at least, that's okay. So weirdly enough, waiting until now to do them, but they need to do it, like you said, not as if they were there the whole time, but either that they just got irradiated or... I like your idea of they were trapped somewhere. Yeah, well, think think if they were sent out into space. They, they were doing this project where they, they where they went out in space right before the snap. Yes. What happens to people when half the population... Oh, man, that's messed up, yeah. And you're in a space you know, shuttle. Who's going to think to get you down after half the world yeah, disappears? Oh, yeah. You know? You could have also been snapped too, and then yeah. people forgot what if part about of your, you. What, what, what come if, back, they what if only about part you. of the crew got snapped? Too. Oh, just the <laughs> and four. you have no That's clue. The reason they're alive, yeah. and you have no clue what's going on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Even after the snap, you wouldn't remember they were up there. Yeah. It'd be like, dude, we got to deal with some other shit. We got some little freckle face, weird ginger murdering people, well, yeah. and and Captain Falcon just said. It's I mean, okay. on top of that, right now, you, you I mean, with uh, with, the, with the She Hulk stuff. Uh, commenting from the She-Hulk, you've got superheroes popping out of every corner. Yeah, know, which also brings a whole another mess of problems with all with with this Phase Four because apparently, you know, if you go by She-Hulk, all these superheroes are popping out. Maybe they're all scroll. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, have no idea what I doing. mean, yeah, or maybe it's the creation of the X. You know, the biggest problem though, they have done this too late for Blade, and now I'm worried about Blade because. How much of fuck are we going to give about vampires after all this? Like, oh, there's vampires and yeah, there's a f- abomination. There's things that are so unless they make their vampires super powerful, the vampires are going to seem like a real minor problem compared to half the dudes running around. <laughs> it's going to be like I'm fighting vampires, and you just see like a superhero, like see a villain just go this. Yeah, what? Like, I ain't worried about that, man. Not a problem. And it's just like. You've made me seem so inconsequential. Well, dude, that was a problem in the <laughs> comics, though. It was. Really, um, you know, I mean, there's several of 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 your your superheroes that don't make sense because there's other superheroes, and Blade was sort of one of them. I mean, sort of Blade's thing was off in the dark, away from everybody. Well, not- that's because he made the vampires a very secret threat. Yeah, that hid way below the radar. And that their level of infection, because they could infect superhumans. That was the thing that when they ramped them up, mm-hmm. is later on, the vampires could change superhumans into vampires, and that was pretty dangerous. So they may go at that angle, but like I said, the problem, though, is that with Secret Invasion, with it being done after Kang, because look, mm-hmm. Loki comes out before it, which is the timeline, multi-timeline. So it's just like, huge stakes. Yo, man, there's vampires. I would have preferred they started with Blade earlier. I think Blade should have been before Secret Invasion. So that there, while we're in our quiet period, there could have been some stakes. Well, yeah, and you also have the, uh, you know, the concern you brought up with uh, with them turning supers. With all the supers popping up in She-Hulk. Yeah, right after She-Hulk. Yeah. yeah. Imagine she runs into something that ain't a normal, and it's like, what the fuck was that? It burst into flames yeah. when I threw it in the sunlight, and then you roll into Blade. And you know what? You can even, guess what? You can find a good use for She-Hulk. Remember, there was a problem with Blade getting prosecuted a few times for murder. <laughs> like, that popped up a few times because, you know, Blade's killing people and people didn't know vampires existed. I'm sorry, go ahead, Blood X. Well, no, it's actually because of uh, the property that's, uh, the company that's doing this. Uh, do you think that possibly Blade could not be hunting vampires, but actually be hunting scrolls and do something really stupid with Blade? I don't think so. Oh. I don't think they'll do that. Oh, come on, man. Why, why you I do mean, that to me? Why you do me like there, that? There are lines, man. There yeah, are lines. There are, and, the, and they've been crossed in many of my Star Wars uh, films and series, so I wouldn't put it past them to do Blade's something stupid scroll. like that in, uh, in Blade. Oh, maybe there's Blade Just drinking don't scrolls? Have... Scroll pyres? Uh, uh, all right, let's go. I'm, my stomach hurts now. That that hurt my feelings. Blade that doesn't hunt vampires. Oh, I know, right? Do you think they'll even have Blade, or will they replace him with Femme Blade at the end of the series? Will he even make it through the whole series? <laughs> They've already cast Blade. It it, it it it's a guy. So I said at the uh, end of his series because yeah. a Moon Knight already has been dang near rolled out his series. They've already invented like a female like avatar character at the end of his series. He didn't even get a whole series where they brought his replacement. 
it like on screen and went like, y'all know what's going to happen now. And you're just like, wow, could the guy get to season two? Could you let a guy get two seasons before you replace him? I mean, maybe Daredevil Reborn. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, they said Daredevil Reborn. Maybe they. Oh, no, it's not. No, they got to. Re- no, no, no. they're going to replace him at the end. Not at the beginning, but are they going to replace him at the end? No. I'm I'm sure that no. Daredevil's been a female Daredevil. I there has there been. Have. I mean, it was Electra, I think. Uh... <sighs> R.I.P. Daredevil. <laughs> we didn't realize what they were doing. They're bringing in Blade and Daredevil to replace them. Because Ironheart's in between the two series, too. Oh, no. Uh... Don't go there. That, that's not going to happen. I mean, they you are. willing to bet? There is a. Uh, Daredevil, especially, I believe. I don't know. I Electra, yeah. You willing to bet on Daredevil? Nah, I'll bet on Daredevil. They're you, not gonna get rid of him. He, uh, he, 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 he. I what's mean, dude, the bet? They brought him over from Netflix because he was that popular. To get rid of him? No. We miss you, Daredevil. Yeah, you were a good the, lawyer. Yeah, you know, oh, come on, you guys. Bet. Uh, <laughs> bet dare you? <laughs> we got we got Zeno. Zeno hurt by that one because he liked Daredevil. Zeno was a big Daredevil fan. He loved the Netflix series. You know what? I changed my previous statement. Thank you, Marvel, that I don't see Luke Cage. <laughs> I don't know what they were gonna do, but I don't feel he's safe with it's them. Lucy Cage now. <laughs> mm-hmm. I will punch you. <laughs> Okay, well, it would be the daughter of Luke Cage. Uh, oh. She's got the powers uh, of Jessica Jones and Luke Cage, so she's better than both of them. That Bam coffee. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would just like to come in for some coffee. <laughs> All right. That's her name. She's Coffee Cage. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's uh, let's do a random encounter because <laughs> damn you guys. Uh, I have, no, no, trust me. I can honestly say my feelings are hurt too about Daredevil because there is a precedent. There isn't for Blade that I know of, but there is a precedent for Elektra being Daredevil. And I'm like, oh, they are going to do that. I think they'll let him get a whole series though. I think he'll it'll be at the end. You see Elektra, and they mm-hmm. and you're like, uh oh. And then season two will be the new, but reborn implies the new Daredevil. But no, it's reborn because at the end of the Daredevil series and Netflix, Daredevil, um, well, no, because then they had Defenders after that, didn't they? So they that, that can't be that. Well, no, he's still, I think they thought he died at the end of the Defenders, didn't they? Do you think that was the female Daredevil at the end of She-Hulk's trailer? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, guys. You know, they didn't let's, go all the way up. There might have been a chest piece. Let's, let's, let's roll. That could have been Electra. No. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to wrap it up with that because uh, it's 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 uh, 5 o'clock after the technical difficulties and everything. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out DiceNews.com where you find links everywhere we are. Go to YouTube, like, subscribe there for uh, additional content. And as every week, we hope you enjoy. Just the player!